All right, let's see how that is. So good morning, everyone. And I'm gonna back up so that you can actually see me. So my name is Jacqueline Morosco of Spirited Practice. And today we are going to uh, do a practice for the spine. And I know that recently we focused a lot on the spine and, um, and I'm not surprised because of um, everything that's happening in our lives, right? And so thinking about as we get prepared to move into this practice today, um, you know, what would assist you the most, right? So I'm going to invite you to take a comfortable seat and start to focus on your breath. And as you're breathing, imagine pulling that breath all the way down your torso, down your spine to your pelvic floor. And then as you breathe out, pushing that breath up and out. And if you're not congested like I am from allergies, you'll breathe through your nose. Otherwise, you breathe however you can. So breathing in the nose, pulling the breath all the way down the body, and then pressing. It's like you're like zipping a zipper on really tight pants as you're pressing the breath out of the body. And it's a, it's, it's a bit of an active breath. And that's okay because we're starting the practice. So unless it makes you um, uncomfortable, I invite you to continue on. And I was starting to say that it doesn't surprise me that, you know, um, that a lot of us are, you know, wanting to focus on moving and specifically the spine. Because think about it, it's like moving the energy all through your body and, you um, and the old yogi masters said that as long as we moved the spine in all of its different planes, it would help to keep us youthing as opposed to aging, right? So now you're in your comfortable seat, you're breathing deeply, and I want you to notice how you're feeling, mind, body, and spirit, and think about how you want to feel by the time we're done with our practice today. So setting your intention, and, and you don't have to be cross-legged, right? You're sitting in whatever way works for you. And as you set your intention, now we're going to move the body as we breathe. So your hands can be, I'm going to place mine on my knees. You could place them on the floor or on your thighs. Depends how you're sitting. What I want you to do, you're going to inhale and reach your chest forward, pull your shoulders and your elbows back, and then exhale, you're going to bring your belly and your chest back round the spine and bring your chin towards the chest. So inhale, open up, so you're arching your back as you inhale, and then rounding the back as you exhale. I'm doing that a couple more times and you're only going to a depth that feels comfortable okay as you all know in your body but also in your breath and let's do it one more time inhale coming forward with the chest not letting your head drop back too much and then exhale rounding the spine now on your next inhale, we're gonna sit up and we're gonna add a little twist in here. So taking the right hand behind you, left hand can be on the floor on your leg and your spine's gonna stay nice and long as you twist to the right. And again, I want you to take a couple of nice deep breaths and notice how it feels as you breathe in through your body. And obviously when we're twisted, it's a little bit more challenging to breathe. Still taking full breaths on the next inhale. Let's lengthen the spine, exhale, come forward. And then with the next breath, moving to the second side. So again, left hand is behind you, right hand on the floor, on your leg. Spine is nice and long. Twisting as deeply as is comfortable in your body and in your breath. 
And then while in this twisted position, taking a couple of nice, full, long, smooth breaths. And on the next inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, coming forward. And then however you have your legs, let's take the legs. We're going to um, have the knees bent and have your feet flat on the floor and the legs a little bit wide. Okay. And then your hands on your legs and we're going to inhale up and exhale, slide down the feet, chin towards the chest, really allowing the back body to stretch and on an inhale coming on up and before we move on just pausing for just a moment and noticing how your body feels now one more time taking a comfortable seat i want you to interlace your fingers and if it doesn't feel good to interlace just place one on top of the other and we're going to roll through the wrists a couple of times in each direction and note, and, and I, I realized I was like looking at the video, I'm doing it pretty quickly, but you're just moving in a way that feels good and comfortable. Eventually we're gonna stop and your hands are parallel with the floor. You're gonna take one wrist up and the other wrist down and you're still breathing and then you're gonna switch. Still breathing, noticing how your wonderful body is feeling. And we're gonna pause for a moment and then either flick your fingers or shake your hands, whatever feels comfortable. And we're going to make our way onto our hands and knees. And I know that some of you um, might have, your knees might be a little bit uncomfortable. So placing a, blah, a blanket underneath so that you, and I'm just gonna place this apparatus out of the room so that it doesn't beep anymore. And we're gonna make our way onto the hands and knees and you could be on your hands or you could be on your elbows. And what I want you to do is just stretch one leg behind you, turn the toes under. And I realize I have this big long shirt on, right? So it's not gonna let you see very well, but hopefully I'll um, talk clearly enough so that you know what to do. So your toes are on the ground and you're stretching the back of the leg. You're reaching the heel towards the ground. And again, on the elbows or on the hands, still breathing. And we're gonna switch sides. So again, the toes on the second foot on the ground, turned under, stretching the back of the leg, reaching the heel towards the ground. Long, smooth breaths. And then eventually we're gonna make our way onto the hands and knees or the elbows and knees. We're gonna inhale here with a flat back and exhale down towards child's pose. So inhale up, exhale down. Moving with your breath. And one more time. And when you come up, you're gonna flip yourself around and you might have blocks on either side or not. And so we're kneeling and you could, if it doesn't feel comfortable being on your knees here, you could do this standing up, okay? So we're gonna start with the hands on the outside of the thighs and you're just gonna move side to side with your breath, inhaling up and exhaling down. So again, another way that we're moving the spine, right? Like we've, we've twisted it and we're moving it side to side. We've moved it front to back. If you want to lift the outside elbow, you're going to add that in and possibly turning your vision towards the shoulder. And then eventually we'll come to a place where we stop in the middle. And I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this. 
So if you're on your knees, you might stretch one leg out, let's say the left leg, and place your right hand on the block and reach that hand over so you're stretching through the side body. If you're standing up, you're gonna stretch one leg out and bend. So you stretch your left leg out, bend the right knee, and again, stretch that. I realize you can't see me <laughs> with the angle of my computer. Stretch that other arm out, right? So we're going to move there, maybe that will get it. So either you're standing up, doing like a side angle, or you're on your knee and stretching the side body, okay? Now you're pressing down with that left foot no matter where you are, standing or on your knees, and you're still breathing. Now we're gonna take that left arm, turn the palm up and press. And you're still breathing, and just notice, like when I press with this top hand, I, it stretches all the way down my side body. Turn that hand down, we're gonna come back to the center. So again, if you use, you're on the knees, you're going to bring that left leg in, stretch out the right leg, take your left hand onto the block. If you're standing up, whoop. Now your left knee is going to bend, right leg straight, and the right arm is going to stretch over top. Okay? I'm getting myself all confused today. <laughs> all right, so here we are. You're going to stretch that top arm over. Either way, what we want to do is get a wonderful stretch along the side body, long, smooth breaths, and again, Turn that right hand up and press towards the ceiling. And just explore, like notice, and you, and you can stop pressing for a moment and notice how that feels and then press again. Long, smooth breaths. And I know you might be getting hot or tired, so if that happens, you're just gonna take a break. And eventually, we're gonna inhale up come back to the center and we're all going to come up to standing. And so once you are up, if you have a tennis ball, I'm going to invite you to grab it. And we're going to roll under our feet for just a moment. And just noticing how your feet feel. And so the Correlation with the spine and the foot is right along, let's see, right along the inside of the foot, right? So for those of you wanting to focus on your spine a little bit more, you might run the tennis ball or your foot along that inside line a little bit more than usual maybe. And just notice as you're doing so, where there might be a little bit more sensation. And when you're done with the one side, and you might be switching back and forth, but again, giving the same amount of attention to both feet. And checking in with your breath and the rest of your body. My feet are really liking this today, so I know we're staying here a little bit longer. Oops. So, <laughs> we're gonna put that <laughs> tennis ball off to the side, and we're gonna stand with our feet about hip width apart, hands on the thighs. And yes, we do this all the time because it's one of my favorite things to do for the entire spine. So inhaling up, exhaling, you're going to slide down your legs, letting your head and shoulders go as you come down. And then inhale back up. The knees can be bent or straight, whatever feels best in your body. Moving with your breath. Inhaling up, exhaling down. And one more time. Now, next time you come up, and some of you, you're going to do this how it works for your body. 
Some of you might have it so that your foot comes back and touches the wall. And some of you might do it so that your hands stay on the wall. What I want you to do is we're going to inhale up with the arms, exhale into a forward bend. You could slide down your legs. Next inhale, we're gonna step into a lunge. Exhale back into your forward bend. Inhale, reach for the sky with the arms. Exhale, slide down the legs. Inhale, second leg back into your lunge. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, step back, first foot. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, reach for the sky. This will be the last time. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, second foot back. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, hands to the heart center. And just take a moment and pause, noticing how your mind and your body feel, your body temperature, your heart rate. Then we're going to stand with our feet about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. And I want you to just make some big circles with your hips. And your hands can be on your hips or wherever it's comfortable. Eventually you'll stop and go in the other direction. Okay, and then we're going to stand in a wide angle and you might have your blocks kind of in line with your feet or not. Feet are parallel or you have your heels slightly out. And then I want you to just pull your feet towards the center so that you feel those inner thighs engage. And then we'll extend the arms so that your hands might be kind of over where your feet are. Inhale is up. Exhale, we're going to take a twist. So you could bring that left hand onto the right leg or onto the block. Inhale up. Exhale, second side. Moving with your breath. And again, lots of different ways. I'll model some different ways. You could just take your hand to the hip or the thigh. Inhale back to center. Or you could come down onto your block and you're moving with your breath. And one more time to the left side. And when you come up, we're going to take the hands onto the hips again. Breathe, connect, how are you doing right now? And then I just want you to slowly bend your knees. So the inhale will be standing, the exhale, you're gonna bend the knee and hopefully the knee kind of tracks right over your foot. Inhale up, exhale, slide down. Noticing how your wonderful body's doing today as you move, as well as your breath. And the next time that you go to your left side, you're going to walk those feet together. And if you have a block or something that you use as one, we're going to place it between your thighs. And again, pulling into the center. So I know that we talk about this a lot. I really want you to see if you can connect with the parts of your body that engage when you pull in towards the center, whether your like, legs are connected by having the block in there or you're in a wide angle pulling in towards the center, okay? Now we're gonna reach for our second block if you have one. And if you don't, you're just going to press your hands in towards the center. So inhale, we're going to take the arms up in line with the shoulders. Exhale, you're going to sit like you're putting your butt into a chair. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. 
Inhale, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, the ankles, and the hips. Two more times. And yes, this raises the heat a little bit. So making sure you're working in a way that works for you. Next time you come up, we're gonna take out both blocks. And again, pause, check with your breath. Now this next one, a couple of different ways. You could have your butt against the wall and bend your knees and cross your ankle over like you're sitting in a chair. You could also face the wall and do that same thing. And you could also just be in the center of the room. So we're crossing the right ankle with that foot flexed over the top of the left knee, hands at your heart center, or you could be reaching your forearms towards your shin. Long, smooth breath, find your focus and your balance, making sure however you are, it's working for your body. Eventually on an inhale, you'll come up and you'll uncross. Take a moment to pause and then we'll take the second side. So again, you could have your hips on the wall. This time we're crossing the left ankle. Hands could be at the heart center or hands could be on the wall. Breathe and focus. And again, you might start to bring your forearms towards your shin. You know, you're finding the way to move that feels good in your body. Long, smooth breaths. How is your focus? How is your body temperature? How is your heart rate? How is your breath? And as soon as you're ready, you're gonna make your way back up, uncrossing the legs, releasing the hands, taking your hands onto your thighs. And again, inhaling up, exhaling, sliding down your legs, moving with your breath. Inhale is up, exhale is down. One more time, inhale up, exhale down. And then we're gonna inhale up. And I want you to feel your feet on the ground, find a comfortable stance, wiggle through your fingers for just a moment. And we're going to make like cacti. And palms are forward, elbows are at the height of your shoulders. Inhale, we're gonna press the hands and the elbows back. Exhale, you're gonna bring elbows, forearms, and palms towards one another. Inhale, open the arms and press back, opening the chest. Exhale, come back to the center. Move with your breath. One more time, inhale, open, exhale, come together. Now you're gonna have your hands, they may not connect and that's okay. And what I want you to do, you're gonna press up towards the ceiling. So you're taking your fingertips and your forearms reaching up towards the ceiling, long, smooth breath. And then on the next exhale, release your hands, shake out your hands, your arms, roll through the shoulders if that feels good. And before we come down to the ground, we're gonna do one more thing. So I want you to grab onto your block. And this time you're gonna take your block up overhead and bend the elbows so that the block comes behind the head and you're pressing into the center with your hands, squeezing the block. So I'm holding the block a longer way, pressing in towards the center. Then the inhale is gonna be arms reach up towards the ceiling. Exhale, block comes down behind the head. Inhale, extend the arms. 
Exhale, bend the elbows, block comes down, still pressing in towards the center. Again, with that idea that as you press the hands into the center, you feel different parts of your body engaging. One more time, block up, block comes down. Then we're gonna release, we're gonna come down to the ground. Hopefully you're all still with me. Now, once you come down onto the ground, you might have a block underneath your bottom. If that's appropriate for you, we're gonna stretch out the legs with the feet flexed. And some of you might like to have a little bend in your knees. And then we're going to extend the elbows. And so maybe your hands are on your knees and your vision is going to be towards your right hand. And the inhale, you're gonna follow that hand up overhead behind you as far as you can go where you can still see your hand and it's comfortable. Exhale, back to the leg. Inhale, extend the left arm. So we're alternating sides. Exhale, back to the center. Alternating, so now we're on the right arm, inhaling back, the eyes follow the hand. Left hand, we're gonna do each side one more time after this left hand. So even though it might feel like the focus is the arm because that's what we're moving, in this movement, it's actually more about the spine. So the next time that hand comes down, we're gonna bend the knees like we did at the very beginning of class. Take your hands on your knees, inhale up. Exhale, slide down, hands towards the feet, chin towards the chest. And hopefully we have the rounded back here and you're getting a nice stretch through your spine. And then let's inhale up. Now for this next part, we're going to come down onto our backs and a couple of different ways that you can do this. So I want you to carefully get yourself onto your back body. You could have a block under your pelvis, not at all on your spine, just underneath your pelvis. You could also use a folded blanket I'm going to use the block for now because that feels pretty good. So here we're on our back, a blank, folded blanket or a block under the hips or nothing. Feet flat on the ground, about hip distance apart, arms at the sides. It's going to inhale, take your right arm up, turn the head to the left. Exhale, arm comes down, head back to the center, alternate sides. Inhale, left arm up, head turns to the right. Exhale, back to the center. We're going to do that two more times on each side. And you're only moving the head if that feels really good. And notice we have the hips on the block so that it takes them out of the equation, yet you're getting the lift of the hips, which automatically lift your chest as well. Now, the next time your left arm comes down, we're gonna take the block out and put it off to the side. And now we're gonna do that same movement, except that instead of having your hips supported by the block, you're gonna lift your hips up as you move. So the inhale, right arm comes up, hips come up, head turns to the left. Exhale, hips down arm down, head back to the center. Alternating sides, trying to get that chest up as well. If you find that this doesn't work for you, go ahead and put that block back underneath your hips. Moving with your breath, slowly. We're gonna do each side one more time. Now, next time you finish your second side, 
Let's bring those knees into the chest. You might have your feet flex, feel that lower back pressing into the floor. If you have something underneath your hips, still the blanket or the block, you might want to take it out. We're going to take the knees into a circular motion. So a few times in each direction. And let's see, then holding on to the right knee, let's stretch out the left leg and keep that foot flexed. And then you're going to take your left hand and your right foot and cross over the body. So it's like you're doing pigeon prep on your back. Okay. And you're holding on to the outside of the right knee with the right hand and the flexed right foot with the left hand. Now, hopefully you're all with me, you're going to bend that left knee and take it right behind the right ankle. And so there's this wonderful little push pull, thigh into ankle, ankle into thigh. The back body is relaxed on the floor. And if you want to, only if it sounds good, you might straighten that left leg and some people like to hold on to the leg and pull it towards the body or take your hands into that opening there and pull your thigh towards your body. But you're only going to go further if it feels good, right? Now, eventually, we're going to uncross the legs and you're going to hold on to the left knee and again, stretch the right leg out, foot flex. You're holding on to the left knee, you're breathing, relaxing the body. And then eventually reaching the right hand towards the flexed left foot and bringing that lower leg across the body. The right foot is flexed and still hovering over the floor. Long, smooth breaths, holding the outside of the left knee with the left hand and the flexed left foot with the right hand. Again, if it sounds inviting, you're gonna bend that right knee and take that thigh to the outside of the left ankle, that wonderful little push pull. And as you're pressing towards the center with that ankle and the knee, notice what's happening in the rest of your body. And again, if it sounds inviting, you might straighten that right leg. You might reach your hands onto the calf or wrap them around the thigh. You might still have that knee bent and you might not want to use your hands at all. So again, find some movement that feels good in your body. Long, smooth breaths. And again, when you start to feel complete, we're going to uncross the legs, take the knees into the chest one more time. Now, very carefully, one foot at a time, we're going to bring the feet down to the ground and you're going to roll over to your side. And this is where you might want to take a rolled blanket or a, um, a little bolster, which is what I'm going to grab over here, and place that underneath your spine. Okay. So it could be that you, like my bolster's a little bit shorter. I'm going to have my hips on the floor, and then the bolster is going to come underneath my spine and the head. You could have a rolled up blanket in that same way. And then your knees or legs can be bent or straight. The idea here is to have support underneath your spine. And I like it a little, you know, not as wide as your whole body so that your shoulders can relax towards the floor and open up your chest a little bit. And legs can be straight, or I actually like to keep my knees bent. 
and so that you don't have to work at holding your legs up. You, if your knees are bent, you might walk your feet wide and then let the knees drop in towards the center. And then just allow yourself for the next few moments to relax, breathe. Notice those things like your heart rate, your body temperature, And, you know, finding that comfortable place for your legs and your knees is key. And then as you're softening your body here and your throat and the muscles in your face, you're going to ask yourself if you want to move. And if it feels good to not move at all, I invite you to just relax with the roll underneath your spine. If you want to add in some movements, we're going to interlace the fingers and press the palms up towards the ceiling. And the inhale will be arms up overhead. Exhale, arms perpendicular to the floor. Just moving with your breath, arms overhead. On the inhale, exhale, arms come up. A couple more times at your own pace with your breath if your body's wanting to move right now. Now, releasing your hands, wiggling your fingers for just a moment. We're gonna do one more, um, actually one or two more arm movements. So just like when we were standing up, we're gonna make like cacti. And the inhale is going to be arms open and, and your arms may or may not come to the ground depending on your body and the size of the roll underneath. Inhale, arms down. Exhale, elbows, forearms and palms come towards one another. Inhale, open the arms up. Exhale, arms come back together. Again, if it feels good, you're gonna do it. If it doesn't, you might just be relaxing on the ground, or you might be choosing to move in a different way. Now, next time the elbows, forearms, and hands come together, you're gonna keep them there and again, press over the head. Just a couple of times with your breath, not overdoing it. And then when you start to feel done, I have one more thing I want to do on this roll. So you might have your arms extended out to the sides for balance. If your legs are straight, I'm gonna invite you to bend them. And we're gonna take the knees over to the right. And if it feels good, you're gonna bring your head over to the left. And I'm slightly dropping my head off of the bolster but you're going to move in a way, as always, that feels really good in your body. And so it might feel good just to move the knees or just the head or not at all. Long, smooth breaths. Now I'm finding it really comfortable to not move back and forth, but some of you might find that you want to move with your breath. Inhaling center with the knees, exhaling, alternating sides, moving your head in the opposite direction of your knees. Now, if you've been holding your knees to the one side, I'm gonna invite you to inhale them back up to center and exhale your knees over to the left. And then carefully moving your head to the right. And again, finding a comfortable position so that you're getting a gentle stretch in your neck, long, smooth breaths, or you're continuing to move.
So on the next inhale, let's come back to the center if you are twisted with the head and the knees. And this is where I want you to check in and see, does your body want to do anything else, right? So move your body around and check in and, and see, you know, what would feel really good in your body. And so as I got up, I realized what sounds good to me is bringing the knees out to the sides with the bottoms of the feet together, the arms down at the sides, and just relaxing there for a moment. That might sound good to you or not. And some of you might like to do this with um, blocks or something underneath your knees for support. But I want you to check in what would feel good in your body right now. If there's anything else that your body would like before we make our way into Shavasana, you have a couple of minutes. So some of you, it might be a little inversion of some sort, legs up the wall or a modified shoulder stand with a block under your hips. What I'm doing is a supported Saptabhata Kanasana. And so as your body starts to settle in, right, and you're doing whatever it is that feels really good right now, check in. Do I want to, you know, stay in this inversion a little bit longer? Does my body want a twist? What would feel really good right now? You know, and do your, we didn't move the ankles a whole lot. So if you are doing an inversion, you might point and flex your feet or roll through the ankles. But you're exploring what would feel really good in my body right about now. Checking in for a moment with your face and softening the muscles in your jaw and the back of the throat around the eyes. And in the next minute or so, start to think about how you want to be for Shavasana, right? And so no rush, if you're having fun. <laughs> I want you to enjoy whatever you're doing. And if you're ready to start setting yourself up for Shavasana, then I invite you to do that. Now, as you start to get yourself set up in Shavasana, making sure that all parts of your body feel supported, that you're comfortable and that you're warm enough. Inviting the eyes to close. And possibly softening the breath.
to do a little pranayama and meditation practice, I invite you to do so. If you'd like to stay in your Shavasana, please feel free to do so. And as you get yourself comfortable In your seat, I want you to, you might close your eyes or have your vision towards the ground with the eyes at half mass. And start to focus on the breathing and let's do some alternate nostril today. So bringing the index finger and the middle finger down towards the center using the thumb to close the right nostril and the ring finger to close the left, but barely touching them, just enough so that it interferes with the flow of air, right? So we're going to start by closing the right, inhaling through the left, closing the left, and then exhaling out the right, inhaling right nostril, closing, and then exhaling left. So that's one round. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. We'll do a couple more rounds at your own pace. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left. One more round, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, and exhale left. Now, when you're done, just uh, relaxing both of your hands onto the legs or into the lap in whatever position is comfortable. And as you settle into your seat, noticing your breath and how it feels to breathe in through the nose without closing the nostrils. And the word, and maybe the reason why I was drawn to do the Nadi Shadanam or alternate nostril breathing, the word that 
was popping into my head during Shavasana was balance. So I'm not sure what I get when words pop in like that. I never know if it's for me or for the whole group or for someone specifically in the group. So I'm curious, and you might just contemplate balance in your life in this moment. And it could be balance in food, balance in movement, balance in work play, sleep or awake time. And then possibly what area in your life might like a little bit more balance. And then the final question is, if, if something is requesting more balance, um, what's one action that you might take to bring that balance into that aspect of your life? And so once you have that action, if you're called to do anything, I invite you to follow through if it works for you. And I thank you for being here and being part of our practice today. If you'd like <clears throat> to join me in our um, planetary healing sounds, inhaling your arms up towards the ceiling and exhaling the sound cue to the heart. Yeah. Inhaling the arms out to the sides and exhaling the sound ah to the heart. Ah. And inhaling, scooping up the, the sound om from the earth. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste. And may each of you have maybe just a little bit more balance in your life.